Hey everybody, today we're gonna to learn about soda pop. So what I'm going to do today is to show that when you shake a soda, the pressure does not actually increase in the bottle. I'm also gonna teach a little bit about equilibrium and why the pressure doesn't actually increase when you shake it. In addition, I'm gonna show if the pressure doesn't increase, then why does your soda still explode when you open it? So in order to test this, I'm gonna finagle up a measuring system where I can measure the pressure inside of the soda. So here I have an inner tube, and I'm gonna cut this out and put it inside of the lid and tighten the lid back down. Okay, I've cut the inner tube out and put it inside the lid here. Let's see if it holds the pressure now. So this experiment will work best with a non-frothy drink like Sprite. So I'm going to use Sprite first. So first I need to put my pressure measuring lid on, Sprite. Now since I opened it and released the pressure, I'm going to give it a good shake again. Uh, this will release some of the CO2 from the liquid into the headspace up here and repressurize it. I'm gonna let it sit there for a few minutes. Okay, it's now at equilibrium. I've had to wait all night, but let's measure the pressure and see what it is. Okay, I've got 30.5 PSI. Now I'll shake it up. Yeah. 30.5 PSI. Shit, all we want. Let's smell the bubbles. 30 PSI. Equilibrium in terms of our soda bottle experiment just means that there's the same amount of CO2 in the gas dissolving into the liquid as there is CO2 in the liquid going into the gas. This means that there's no net change in CO2 in either the liquid or the gas, so the pressure does not increase. If that's the case, why does your soda explode when you shake it really hard and then open it? When you shake a soda bottle, a lot of small bubbles form. Most of them are microscopic and you can't even see them. It's worse in a frothy drink like soda or coke. These bubbles stay small under the pressure of the soda bottle. However, when you release the pressure, those small bubbles suddenly become large bubbles as the volume expands due to the decreased pressure in the headspace. The large bubbles expand, pushing the liquid out the top. If it's a very frothy drink, then it pushes a lot of liquid out, and it ends up spraying all over the place. If you're going to try an experiment similar to this, or try shaking your soda up, here's something you need to remember. Remember that the pressure will not increase only if the system is at equilibrium. So if you have just opened your soda pop, and then you put the lid back on and shake it, the pressure will increase because the shaking just helps the system get to equilibrium faster. However, once it's at equilibrium, it will not increase the pressure to shake it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been quite enlightening for me. I enjoyed doing it. I need to drink my soda now. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.